Hey and welcome to Intro Editing 101. Here you'll learn the very basics of editing an intro and creating your own title. Today we'll take a look at the most important part of editing an intro, the masking. All you'll need is a program that has masking tools. I'll be using After Effects for this task. There's also a link in the description with a video file for the bad robot intro, as well as the finished template files if you're lazy. Now let's get started. Open up your editing software and import your footage. In After Effects you can just drag and drop it into this window. Now drag and drop it into a new composition. Go to the time where the title appears on screen, which in this example is about 14 seconds in. There are two ways to create a new mask. You can either press Layer, Mask, New Mask and then change the shape of it, or you can draw it yourself by pressing the G key to bring up the pen tool. Now draw around the title to create your own mask. Once you've got your mask, open up the mask settings by selecting the layer down here and pressing the M key. Now open up the drop down menu here and select subtract since we want the mask to remove the title. Now click the little timer next to mask path to enable keyframing of this mask. Go back to about 12 seconds in where the title appears on screen and insert a keyframe by pressing this button here. Now go back one frame by pressing the page up key on your keyboard. We will now remove the mask from the screen by using the select tool, which is the V key. Double click the mask and drag it out of the screen. After Effects will automatically insert a new keyframe here, so your mask will now be animated like this. To fill this hole, you'll have to create a solid with the same color as the background. Press Layer, New, Solid. And then set the color to the same color as your background. Press OK and drag your solid below your footage. We have now removed the old title, so let's go on and create a new title by pressing Layer, New, Text. Enter your desired text and select it so you can change the settings using the font controls out here. You can change the font using this drop-down menu here. When you're satisfied with your title, select the text layer down here and press the P key to bring up the position controls. To change the values, click and drag your title into position, like this. Now I'll have to fade the title in and out. Bring up the opacity controls by pressing the T key. Go to about 12 and a half seconds in and enable keyframing by pressing this little watch here. This will also insert a keyframe. Now go back to about 12 seconds and change the opacity value to zero. Finally, we'll have to set the fade out and synchronize it to the fading of the video. Move to about 15 seconds in, insert a keyframe, go to about 15 and a half seconds and set the value of the opacity to zero. That's it, now you're ready to render. Select your composition, press composition and add to render Q. If you need a tutorial about all the rendering settings you can use, click this annotation here. If not, I hope you enjoyed this short tutorial and goodbye.